What's going on YouTube, GSNarrate here, so in today's video I have great news coming from the Pango team. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their program Rayboot, which helps you fix your iPhone if it's stuck in recovery mode or if it's stuck in any of the screens in here. Check the program out on the link below. So the story is coming from Min Spark Zhang, and as you can see he posted quote, iOS 12 jailbreak on iPhone XS by Pango team, bypass PAC or pointer authentication codes, mitigation on the new A12 chip, that's amazing. And he posted a couple of screenshots in here. Now the Pango team, for those of you who are new to the community, has been a legendary jailbreak team. They have been releasing jailbreaks for quite some time and then they simply stopped. Their last jailbreak was for iOS 9, I cannot remember exactly which version of iOS 9, and they started with iOS 7.1.2, so they had quite a long career in the iOS jailbreak industry. Now they're no longer releasing jailbreaks for some reason and they're focusing on security research, but they are still active in this security and iOS area, and as you can see they managed to do something very very important, and that is by passing the PAC. So what is this PAC on the A12 chip and why is it so hard to bypass? Well if you take a look in here on the Star OS Internals forum on Jonathan Levin's post, he posted some details about the A12 chip which is called Bionic and of course the supported architecture which is ARM v8.3 which comes with PAC or pointer authentication codes. This is a security mitigation technique that should in theory make jailbreaking and exploitation harder but as you can see from Pango's achievements in here it did not. Now they managed to jailbreak iOS 12 which is currently the latest version available iOS 12.0 and of course they did it but on A12 which is of course the new iPhone XS, XS Max or the XR. Now this is hell of an achievement since these are the new devices and of course if they are able to jailbreak these new devices, jailbreaking the past devices like the iPhone X, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 and 6 and so on should be quite trivial for them. Now there is no word on a release but the sheer fact that they managed to jailbreak such a new device with all this PAC stuff that was talked about detailed by Jonathan Levin in here and as you can see there are some pages from Jonathan's book that you can actually read for free if you want to get more info about how this works. Anyways, the PAC is supposed to be a very good protection against exploitation and return oriented programming, however it seems that Pango managed to overcome that and they managed to jailbreak successfully the iOS 12, which is definitely a very good thing since this means that iOS 12 is not that hard to jailbreak and the iPhone XS, XS Max and the XR are not that hard to jailbreak either, so we might see a jailbreak for these devices in the future. Now I'm pretty sure that Pango will not release this jailbreak, probably they will keep it private because there is no news about any release and so on, but as I said it's a very good thing that it's possible to jailbreak iPhone XS. If it's possible and PAC is not really such a hard thing to bypass, then it's a question of time before we get a jailbreak for that from a known developer. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, very big achievement from Pangu team, I'm glad to see them back, they have been gone for so long and apparently they're still working in the background. This video is brought to you by Wondershare, they have currently a contest where you can win the new iPhone XR, all you have to do is to navigate here, contest number 3, the link is in the description down below, choose which iPhone you prefer from the ones released this year and you can win the new iPhone iPhone 10 R if you're lucky. Of course, thank you for watching, check them out in the description down below, good luck, and till the next time, I'm GSNow, peace out.